Hey folks, this is Nicole Ringgold. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make tea votives with a twist. I will show you how to bore out the branches to make the votives, and then how to add copper cutouts using cold connections. To start, you'll need to saw three to six inch branch lengths, and I used aspen. You'll need a sturdy vise to protect your fingers, and then use a rag to protect the branch from any marring that might happen. Secure the branch within the vise, and make sure that the branch is sitting nice and flat within the vise. Since you'll be using tea votives, you'll need a butterfly bit that's about one and a half inches wide. Secure the bit in an electric drill, and I like to make sure that it's not wobbling and that it's securely locked into place. Here you'll see me marking my center. I have the drill set on high, and then I push down firmly. Once I've drilled about an inch into the branch, I use a cross-cut cylinder burr to smooth out the bottom and the edges to make sure that the votive sits nice and snugly within. At this point, I set the votive aside and I use rubber cement to transfer an image to copper sheet. You don't want to apply too much glue because then your image will roll around when you're trying to saw through. Press the image onto the copper and then wait for it to dry. And then once it's dry, I use a handsaw to saw out the image all the way around the outside, and then I pierce and saw the details throughout the inside of the image. Peel off and discard the paper. Now you will drill four to six holes on the outside of the image using a drill bit that's wide enough for a 14 gauge wire to fit through. And this is optional, you can use coarse fiber wheel to brush up the copper so that it looks a little bit less polished, or you can use sandpaper to do so. Then you'll take that 14 gauge copper wire and snip approximately 3 fourths to 1 inch lengths, and you'll need 4 to 6 of these depending on how many rivets you're going to create. I secure the wire in pliers and then I use a ball peen hammer to splay the very tip of that wire to create a nail head. This will be your cold connection. When you do this, you'll want to be sure that the wire doesn't sit too much above your pliers because otherwise, as you're hammering with the ball peen hammer, the wire would bend. You want it to be nice and straight. Line your copper image up on your votive and then you'll use a Sharpie or a pencil to mark where those nail holes are. Use the same drill bit that you used for the image to drill into the votive. Make sure all of your holes line up, or at least one of them, and then place the first pin in one hole. And then hammer that one into place before you place any of the other pins into place. Place the rest of the pins in at the same time and then hammer them each just a little bit and go around in a circle so that they don't bend and then that way your image also won't shift. 
And there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs>